In 2023, we are witnessing an exciting new era of human space exploration. NASA has embarked on the initial phase of its Artemis program aiming to return to the moon. Meanwhile, SpaceX is making remarkable progress towards fulfilling Elon Musk's visionary plan of colonizing Mars using the Starship spacecraft. However, there's another space program that many people overlook, and that is China's ambitious endeavor. However, before we begin our video, we would greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe to our YouTube channel and also press the bell icon. Now let's get started. In the next decade, China has its grand plan to dominate space around the Earth and the Moon and extend its presence to Mars. Let me tell you how they intend to achieve it. This is what we call the space race. Thus far, the Chinese space program has caught up with Western and Russian counterparts in almost every aspect. They have successfully launched a crew-rated space capsule, conducted robotic missions to the moon, constructed a space station, and even achieved a successful Mars rover landing. However, there is one area where China still lags, a heavy lift rocket. But that is about to change with the upcoming Long March 9. Massive rockets with incredible lifting capabilities are crucial for traveling between planets. These rockets were vital to NASA's historic moon landing in the 1960s. With its 7.6 million pounds of thrust at liftoff, the Saturn V rocket enabled NASA to safely transport astronauts to the moon and all the necessary equipment. The Soviet Union also aimed to surpass the Saturn V with their N1 rocket during the space race, but unfortunately, it failed to launch successfully. Currently, NASA operates the second-generation Super Heavy SLS rocket with an impressive thrust of 8.8 .8 million pounds. Additionally, SpaceX is making significant progress with its powerful rocket, the Starship, which will surpass the SLS regarding raw power. Therefore, China needs to catch up in this league of rocket power to compete, as they are slightly behind at the moment. The Long March 9 rocket was first announced 10 years ago and was designed to be a towering 103 meter tall rocket with a massive 9.5 meter diameter. This size exceeds the SLS, which was 8.4 meters, and the Starship at 9 meters. The Long March 9 aims to carry a payload of 140 metric tons to low Earth orbit, 50 tons to a lunar injection orbit, and 44 tons to Mars. It will employ four chemical engine side boosters equipped with a powerful dual chamber kerosene burning engine called the YF-130 to achieve this. Each twin nozzle engine generates a remarkable 480 tons of thrust. The boosters and core stage will contain a total of eight YF-130 engines. The core stage will be followed by a second stage featuring two YF-90 hydrogen engines, each with a thrust of 230 tons, similar to the RS-25 engines on the SLS. The final step, consisting of four YF-79 hydrogen-burning vacuum-optimized engines, each generating 25 tons of thrust, will propel the rocket to its intended orbit. So, this rocket is an impressive machine. Its ability to carry 50 tons to lunar orbit would give China the power to establish its moon base and infrastructure, ensuring a continuous human presence. However, despite seeing tests of various engines for the Long March 9, a full-scale prototype of this rocket has not yet been realized. Complicating matters further, China has recently shifted its focus to a new design that aligns more closely with SpaceX's Starship. This new design replaces the four side boosters with a single large reusable core stage. In the latest rendering from 2022, the Long March 9 has grown to 111 meters tall and 11 meters in diameter, making it the widest rocket ever created. It's worth noting that the number 11 holds great significance in Chinese feng shui culture, representing prosperity, while the number 9 symbolizes good luck and longevity. Therefore, these dimensions likely have more symbolic meaning than purely scientific considerations. The new reusable core stage of the rocket would feature 26 methane-burning engines, each generating 220 tons of thrust. They would be arranged in a circular pattern around the booster, closely resembling the setup of SpaceX's Super Heavy booster for the Starship program. That's not the worst thing ever. Most rockets look similar, but it's quite clear where they got their ideas. This raises a question about which version of the Long March 9 China will produce. Will they continue with the original design they have been developing and testing, or will they abandon that work and focus on creating a replica of the Starship? 
It's difficult to say, but the Chinese have a history of making different versions of their Long March rockets, so it wouldn't be surprising to build the original Long March design within the next five years to showcase their capabilities. Afterwards, they can work on upgrading it to be reusable, which may take place in the 2030s. China needs a powerful rocket for their ambitious space exploration plans, so it will likely prioritize developing a heavy lift rocket sooner rather than later. However, until they finalize their plans, we know China has a temporary solution for a moon rocket called the Long March 5DY or Long March 5G. It's essentially a taller and more powerful version of their current Long March 5 rocket, capable of carrying up to 70 metric tons to low Earth orbit and 27 tons to lunar transit orbit. We have witnessed the Long March 5 rocket successfully launch the Tiangong space station modules into orbit, which is impressive. However, it has also revealed the limitations of this rocket. The immense effort needed to place the 20-ton Wang Tian and Meng Tian laboratories in orbit pushed the Long March 5 core booster to its maximum capacity, depleting every last drop of fuel. As a result, the booster was left to descend uncontrollably back to Earth, transforming into a flaming cloud of metal debris that posed a risk to any unfortunate area in its path. Clearly, this is not an ideal situation. China is planning an upgraded version of the Long March 5 rocket to address this. The upgrade will enable China to send more intricate robotic missions to the moon, even achieving crewed landings by 2030. Even without the Long March 9, China could still send humans to the moon by utilizing two Long March 5DY rockets. One rocket would carry the crew capsule, while the other would transport the lunar lander and ascent vehicle. Once in orbit, the crew would transfer from one vehicle to another. After a brief stay on the moon, they would return to the capsule and transfer again for the return journey. This plan resembles NASA's Artemis 3 mission, but on a smaller scale. China is developing a new and improved crew capsule larger than their current Shenzhou spacecraft for this specific mission. Although specific details are limited, the new spacecraft is expected to be similar in size to NASA's Orion spacecraft from the Artemis program consisting of a command module and accompanying service module. However, it would need to be significantly lighter. In May 2020, China conducted a test flight using a prototype capsule launched by a Long March 7 rocket. All these endeavors contribute to China's grand vision for space exploration, the International Lunar Research Station. Initially announced as a joint venture between China and Russia in the summer of 2021, this ambitious project signifies their long-term commitment to lunar exploration. Things have gotten more complicated since then as China has gradually distanced itself from the Russian Space Agency regarding updates on the moon base. However, this doesn't pose a significant problem for the overall goals of the International Lunar Research Station or the ILRS. China's space program is already far more advanced than Russia's, which has remained relatively stagnant for the past two decades or more. Any contributions from Russia would likely involve additional workforce and manufacturing capabilities, but China has sufficient resources. Nevertheless, this does increase the pressure on China to complete their Long March 9 rocket in some form by the end of the 2020s. According to the Chinese roadmap, they plan to rely on the upgraded Long March 5DY for the latter part of the Chang'e program's robotic moon exploration. The missions of Chang'e's 6, 7, and 8 launched by 2030, serve as precursors to pave the way for the primary mission. It's not the worst thing ever. Most rockets look similar, but where they got their inspiration is clear. This raises a question about China's Long March 9 rocket plans. Will they stick with the original design or focus on making a copy of the Starship? It's hard to say, but China has a history of iterating on its rocket designs and creating different versions of the Long March rockets. It wouldn't be surprising if they built the original Long March design in the next five years to demonstrate their capabilities and then work on making it reusable by the 2030s. China needs a powerful rocket for their space exploration goals, so it will likely prioritize developing a heavy lift rocket sooner rather than later. Meanwhile, China plans an upgraded version of the Long March 5 rocket as a temporary solution called the Long March 5DY or Long March 5G. It's taller and more powerful with a payload capacity of 70 metric tons to low Earth orbit and 27 tons to lunar transit orbit. What are your predictions? 
NASA is ahead of Artemis, but they have a long journey before landing on the moon. SpaceX's challenging Starship program is crucial. Can China surpass them by going solo? Share your theories below. Also, make sure to subscribe to our channel and click the bell button to get all the latest updates.